Now we turn to that sad story involving former American Idol winner Fantasia Barino. She was rushed to the hospital following an overdose. We've got NBC's Today National Correspondent Amy Robach here with the tales. Amy, good morning. And good morning to you. And police reports say they are investigating a suicide attempt. They were called to Fantasia's home late Monday night and found the Idol star in distress. Overcome in the obstacle. Six years ago, Fantasia Barino exploded onto the scene, captivating viewers and winning the third season of American Idol. The winner of American Idol 2004 is Fantasia Barino. But life for the 26-year-old singer took a dark turn Monday as she overdosed on a combination of aspirin and sleeping aids. It happened days after a divorce court filing which alleged the singer was having an affair with a married man, Antoine Cook, that paperwork filed by Cook's wife. Those around her, including her manager and her father, are saying it was exhaustion um, driven by this whole situation and exacerbated by taking aspirin and sleeping pills. North Carolina police called to Fantasia's home late Monday are investigating a possible suicide attempt. Fantasia's manager, Brian Dickens, released a statement saying Fantasia and Mr. Cook dated on and off for about 11 months. She believed him when he told her he and Mrs. Cook separated in the late summer of 2009. Fantasia is heartbroken. She feels betrayed. She is also sorry for the pain she has caused. But the pain could get worse. There are reports of a Fantasia sex tape. She didn't know it would be alleged that there would be a sex tape about her. Now, if there is that sex tape, she didn't know that it would be made public and that everyone would thus know about it. It's really exploded into a disaster and a public relations nightmare. He's gotta be strong and he's gotta be fast and he's gotta be larger than life. Fantasia has endured success as well as difficult times. She had a child as a teenager, but then turned her life around, winning big on American Idol. She was heralded as Simon Cowell's favorite Idol contestant ever, but her albums and her work have not lived up to the hype. In 2008, Fantasia faced legal troubles that nearly forced her to lose her home. And then came reality TV and VH1's Fantasia for Real. Last January, on Today, she said her show gave people a front row seat to her roller coaster life. What are you hoping that people who watch this show are going to take away from it? Um, well, I want them to know that regardless of what I go through, I'm always going to be a fighter. Words echoed by her manager Tuesday, who said Fantasia will be just fine. He writes, this is not the hardest thing Fantasia has endured. Fantasia will be stronger, smarter, and better for it. I believe in the impossible. If I reach And Fantasia is due to release her third album on August 24th. She was supposed to hit the road to promote it starting this week. No word yet if those plans will now be put on hold. Anne. All right, Amy Robach, thank you so much this morning.